This morning when I got up, woke up in bed, from in bed itself, you know what I prayed? <laughs> I prayed the Lord's Prayer, which is Matthew 6, verse 9. Sometimes I pray it. In spirit, I pray the content of that every day. But the actual words, sometimes. Slowly, I did it very slowly today. Heavenly Father, stop for a moment. I have a dad in heaven who loves me, who runs this universe, who knows the future. My earthly dad never knew the future. My heavenly dad does. And he provides for it. Father, my number one request is not give me more money. Not even give me a word to preach today. That God knows. Let your name be glorified and honored. That was my prayer this morning. Most of what I've shared in this message God gave me right now as I was sitting here. I'll tell you the truth. Because my prayer was, Lord, let your name be glorified. You decide what I should speak. Let your name be glorified. Hallowed, respected. Held as holy. So many people disgrace the name of Jesus. So many believers have dishonored the name of Jesus. But Lord, I pray your name will be held holy. Let me hold your name holy by the way I live. Number one request. Number two request. I want your kingdom to come. This world is being run by the devil now. I want this world to be run by God. I want my home to be run by God. I want my life to be run. Let your king rulership come in my life first. Let your rulership come in my home where I'm the head of the home. And let your rulership come in the church if I have a responsibility there. Let your rulership come all over the world. I want to see God's rule everywhere. That's my second request. Third request. Father, I've got so many desires, but I don't want to do that. I want your will to be done. I want to follow my Savior who said, not my will, but thine be done. Not my, till the last sentence in Gethsemane was, Father, not my will, but thine be done. He lived his whole life like that. I want to live my whole life like that. Not my will, but yours. As it is done in heaven. In heaven, the angels are only doing God's will. Lord, bring me to that place. Make me a heavenly person on earth. How? Only do God's will. Then I come to my personal needs. Very practical. Give us this day our daily food. Whatever you give, I'll be thankful, Lord. Some people can afford rich food. Maybe I can't afford such a rich food. I'm thankful that I can survive. Give me food to survive. If you have more, I'm not saying you should not have more. If you can spend more, by all means, have more. If you can afford ice cream and you're not afraid of getting diabetes, by all means, have ice cream. But be more careful as you get older. Watch your sugar levels. Give us this day our daily bread. And this is very important, verse 12. Forgive us all our sins exactly like we have forgiven that guy and that guy and the other guy and the other guy who hurt me. Okay, let's stop there. How did you forgive that chap? You said, I forgive you, but I'll never forget what you did. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> now you're praying, Father, forgive me like I've forgiven that person. Tell me, Father, I forgive you, but I'll never forget what you did. You want God to speak to you like that? I'd be terrified. If I have to live my life like that, if God said to me even once, I'll never forget what you did, but I'll forgive you. Do you speak like that to others? Or do you give that impression to others? I'll forgive you. I can't forget what you did. That's evil. It's satanic. Forgive us exactly as we have forgiven others who have hurt us, who have done wrong to us. And Lord, I don't want to think I can overcome everything. Please don't let me face temptation that is too strong for me. That's the meaning. God will not allow us to be tempted, but it's good to pray that. Father, there's some temptations too strong for me. Don't let me face it. Don't put me into some situation where 
temptation is too strong please stand by me but if when i face temptation deliver me from that evil i can't deliver myself i want you to deliver me and then finally yours is the kingdom power and the glory and when i do all this in the end of verse 13 in some translations it's not there the nsb has it at the end of it all i'm not going to take the credit i live such a great life no the glory the kingdom the power is all yours what a wonderful prayer <laughs> i rejoiced praying it slowly this morning i don't do it every day but once in a while i encourage you we have a wonderful father in heaven and we have a wonderful advocate and savior at his right hand who is on our side jesus is on your side every day even when you slip up and fall he is your advocate the devil is your enemy but you have an advocate in heaven who will stand up for you who says i shed my blood for this person forgive him father and i'm forgiven 